Today I'm going to show you how I use my Flex 1500 in conjunction with the EMP shield to power a lot of electronics in my house, including my double door refrigerator, to protect them against EMP attacks, solar flares, and lightning. Let's check it out. Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today I'm going to be showing you how I run my refrigerator off nothing but solar power using the Flex 1500 but also protected against uh, lightning strikes, um, solar flares, or EMP attacks, an electromagnetic pulse which is when you have um, a huge solar flare or you have, uh, God forbid, a nuclear weapon detonate somewhere. It causes this really huge surge of power that fries all electronics. Your TVs, your phones, your cars, your computers, uh, your cell phones, your refrigerator, everything gets wiped out if it's not EMP protected. And so the cool thing about this is I'm running my fridge completely off solar, which saves me power, power and money. And also it's completely protected against lightning strikes, solar flares, and EMP, as well as anything else that you want to plug into the Flex. So you can protect cell phones, walkie talkies, uh, you name it, uh, anything you want. Uh, tablets with survival information or uh, stuff like that survival gear anything electronic anything that's plugged into it while you're using it is protected which is a huge upgrade from having to put them in emp protective bags or faraday cages um it's great to be able to use that stuff because otherwise you just have to have it stored in an emp bag until something goes bad and then you take it out of the bag and it should still work but if you're using it when something like that happens it's going to fry this way with these emp shields um Everything is protected while I'm using it, which is so super cool. So I want to show you how I do all that. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so a lot of stuff in here is actually being completely powered by the Energy Flex 1500, being run off solar, and it is also EMP protected. So I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of how I have this set up, and you can use your imagination as to how you would want to configure this, but it's very cool. So here's the EM here's the Energy Flex 1500 with three batteries right here, and this red power cable runs over here to the AC module, the AC EMP shield module, and anything plugged in here is going to be EMP protected for up to 250 feet, feet of extension cord, which is super duper cool. For example, this is about 50 feet of cord that goes upstairs to my refrigerator so that it is run completely off solar and EMP protected against, you know, it's protected against lightning, EMP, solar flares, you name it. And then I also have two power uh, surge protectors or you know plug extenders right here there's one over there and one over there and i called energy and asked them specifically about that if stuff plugged into a power strip would be it protected as well they said yes so that is incredibly incredibly cool anything plugged into these is going to be protected and you can use it while it's protected that's a game changer that's huge turned off turned on whatever it's protected that's super duper cool so let me give you a little rundown of all the stuff that's um, connected to this. And before I do, there's one important thing that I really need to tell you guys. These plugs right here are not going to EMP protect anything. So don't plug devices into this that you would like EMP protected. Only the things plugged into the AC module will be protected. However, it does protect the entire unit itself, so it will still function. Um, also, you have a DC module right here. And that goes to my uh, solar cables coming in. So I have six 100 watt solar panels up top and they are protected from uh, any kind of EMP event. And then that runs in and charges this guy. And as you can see, uh, we're pulling in 216 watts. I've got six panels, but it's really a cloudy, snowy day out there. So I'm surprised I'm getting anything at all. And we're discharging 125 watts. So we're using around 350 watts of stuff of power right now. But anything connected up top to these is connected so you can see i have my garmin gps i have a cell phone in case uh, cell service ever comes back on i'll have a working phone and then i have two walkie talkies that'll be protected so we have communication until you know we get cell service back or whatever then we have a gps mod a gps garmin right there just so we have some maps of course it'd be better to have paper maps and atlases but still use your imagination with things you want to plug in uh, we have the lava lamps, that big light right there. We have all the LED strips, that lava lamp down below. This turntable I use for, you know, just demonstration purposes. This overhead magnifying light. Uh, my printer, my desktop. We have a computer monitor right there. And then we also have my little display picture frame there. We have two 
Bluetooth speakers up top. Those are the, the lanterns. And then all the LEDs that run around my entire basement down here are also plugged into this. And um, you have my phone, which has a landline, all that good stuff. And you can see computer desk lamp blue. There you go. So that's all working. That's all plugged in. All these weird little things, including my giant double door LG refrigerator upstairs, all being run off the flex. And the flex will handle 1500 watts. And we're only using about 350 watts right now. So you can really plug a lot of stuff into this guy for it to power as long as your solar can keep up with it or, or if you're just using it in an emergency using battery power alone, it will handle a lot. But just to kind of show you guys, it's just so cool that all this stuff would survive a lightning strike or a nuclear EMP bomb attack or a solar flare. All this stuff would still work, including my refrigerator. And just to prove it to you, now I'm gonna kind of put you in a little stand here and kind of give you a good indication, try and show you the computer down below, the printer, the lamp, the LEDs up top. And then all I'm gonna do is come over here and turn it all off. So we'll turn off the DC module there. And then here we go, we're gonna turn off the AC module now and it's gonna turn off all this stuff. Boom. So the only thing that's still running now is basically these have batteries in, in these uh, Bluetooth lanterns up top. Of course the Garmin has a battery in it. And uh, the overhead light up here is run off a different battery system so I can see in the dark, worst case scenario. But very, very cool. Now we'll turn it all back on. So there you go. Very, very neat. So that's all incredibly cool. I'm just gonna do a brief rundown of exactly how this all plugs together real quick because I'm not sure I did a good enough job explaining it in the walkthrough. So you have an AC EMP module and that plugs into your flex 1500 right here and anything that's plugged into the emp shield module is emp protected it also protects all the ac components of your flex 1500 however these additional plugs right here do not protect anything against emp only what's plugged in to the module those are emp protected and it protects the ac components of the flex itself but Nothing plugged into these plugs will be EMP protected. Now the DC module, my solar panels all come in and connect to the DC module and it protects all of my solar panels. Then it goes into the Flex 1500's DC components up top and protects the Energy Flex DC components as well as all the batteries connected and anything that's plugged into that top DC section is EMP protected. So the lighter socket modules, the, the USB connectors, all that stuff on the flex will protect, is protected. So it'll protect your phones. Anything that's connected to the flex itself will be protected, which is very cool. And it protects your solar panels and the flex DC systems, including the batteries. And so I just wanted to clear that up so that you guys are completely, you know, understand how all that stuff works. And if you want a lot of technical information about this, I'll put the links down below to take you to the website. I'm also going to have a link down below to take you to Energy's website, get you a discount if I can when you click that link or apply the uh, code ADVENTURE at checkout. Um, that should give you a discount if they're offering one. And then um, I think that about covers it. If you want all the tech specs, go over there and read that because there's a lot of information on it as far as... Uh, the types of EMP, phase one, phase two, phase three, and how many times it can be used. Um, I will throw that one in. It's good for multiple EMP attacks. Um, so it will be ready for one right after the other and keep on working. However, if you get hit by lightning, it's a one and done. Lightning is going to wipe it out, but it will save all your stuff. But I hear that if you send it to, e to EMP Shield, they will replace it for 50 bucks and send you a new one. And they have a lifetime guarantee on them. And all of this is, is backed by DARPA. I mean, the Department of Defense, the U.S. military uses these things. So can I test to see if it works? No, I don't know how to summon a lightning strike and not sure I'd want to. And then also there's uh, nuclear attacks and solar flares, none of which I have access to. So we're just going to have to take the Department of Defense's uh, word for it that they are rated, they are tested, they do work, which is very, very cool. And I love that everything can be used while it's 
EMP protected. That is just so super cool. So thank you very much from Energy for sending me the Flex. Uh, they also sent me the EMP shields and they're not necessarily cheap. I'll put the link in the description below so you can go check those out and see if they're worth it to you. You are probably going to need both the DC and the AC module in order to make this work. But I, I just think it's really cool and I hope that kind of points you in the right direction and shows you, gives you some ideas on how you can use it to protect uh, things in your own home. And um, I think that's pretty neat. So if it helped, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club. Thank you so much for watching and happy camping.